What was guiding you through this year, Mohammed? Because at the start of 21, it wasn't your baseline, but it quickly became the story for you. Yes, John, thanks for having me. What guided me is talking to people on the ground, something that the Fed should be doing more of, talking to CEOs, hearing them tell me that the labor shortages, that the supply chain disruptions weren't going away, and explaining to me why they would last well into the year. And when you hear that from one CEO after the other, in one sector after the other, it's a very clear message. And unfortunately, it's a message that the Federal Reserve didn't hear early enough. Do you think they hear that message now sufficiently? Is that your interpretation of the pivot that we've witnessed over the last month or so? So I always say better late than never, but let's not kid ourselves. They are still way too stimulative for what developments are and what forecasts are. So if I were them, I would accelerate even more the taper so that I don't risk a big policy mistake in the middle of next year. So yes, it's good news, John, that they have pivoted. I wish they had done it earlier, but they're still behind the curve. Given where real rates are, deeply, deeply negative, Mohammed, they are still highly accommodative, as you point out. I'm trying to understand when they start to become more restrictive. It's certainly not after one interest rate hike, may not be after five. Mohammed, where do you think they become more restrictive, where their policy actually ends up seeing tighter financial conditions? And that is the big question. We don't know. And that's why you want them to start early and go slowly, because we're trying to find that point. You know, ironically, even though they've pivoted, even though they have accelerated the taper, financial conditions have loosened, John. They've actually loosened, which shows you that we're nowhere near the point where policy is having an impact. You said that if they go earlier, they can go slower. If you think they're going later, do you, need, do you think they're going to have to go quicker as this year picks up in 22? That's my biggest fear. That is absolutely my biggest fear. And that's why I've been advocating since last April that they should have started, is you don't want them to have to hit the brakes hard. Look, we're not, we're just easing our foot off the accelerator. So the last thing you want is for them to have to pivot really quickly to a hiking cycle. Because remember, they're dealing with an economy and they're dealing with a market that has been conditioned for years to live with flawed interest rates and massive and predictable liquidity injections. So this is quite a change, and that's why you don't want the change to be too abrupt.